I have returned. I took a longer sabbatical than I thought. Actually, it was just two weeks. But nonetheless, Joe Lum is back with episode 31 of his album review series. And this week, I review Ronnie James Dio's solo band and his debut record, Holy Diver. As usual, when you're done, you can watch past album review videos in my playlist, which is in the description box. Here we go. If you haven't watched my album rankings video on the Dio band, the link is on the screen. You can check that out as well. But I touched on this briefly that Ronnie James Dio began his musical journey back in 1957 as part of the group The Vegas Kings, then going by Ronnie and the R Rumblers. In 1967, he formed a rock band called Elf, and when he started Elf, he sang lead vocals and played bass guitar up until 1973. Following the release of Elf's self-titled debut, a bassist by the name of Craig Gruber took over the bass duties, leaving Ronnie to solely sing lead vocals. Then in 1975, Deep Purple guitarist Richie Blackmore left the group and formed his own band Rainbow, with Ronnie James Dio as his lead singer. And then in 1979, Dio found himself replacing Ozzy Osbourne in Black Sabbath, and released two studio albums, Heaven and Hell and The Mob Rules. But by 1982, Dio seemed dissatisfied with handling of Black Sabbath's live release, Live Evil. And that led to him starting his own band. And the first person he picked was another Sabbath drummer by the name of Vinnie Apice, a veteran bassist by Jimmy Bain, who he knew during their days at Richie Blackmore's Rainbow on the 1976 Rainbow Rising album, and a young up-and-coming Irish guitarist by the name of Vivian Campbell who would become later on a future member of Def Leppard. So in late 1982, early 1983, Dio and his new band got together at Sound City Studios in Van Nuys, California, where Ronnie took the helm as producer for what would become Holy Diver. Around the time of making the album, a rise of heroic adventure elements in pop culture, such as J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings books, and role-playing games such as Dungeons and Dragons were a huge influence. Much of heavy metal took place on similar turf, a realm of dark towers and impenetrable wilderness populated by battles of adversity. When Ronnie James Dio had been in Black Sabbath, he revertently refurbished and reinvented the band stately doomed with a grandiose concepts. Dio found a fertile fantasy framework for the big Sabbath themes of madness and desolation. Dio himself, who had read Sir Walter Scott, Arthurian Tales, and Sight by Growing Up, which had previously used fantasy lyrics in his early band, Elf. He explained the influence of his youthful reading to an interviewer, saying, When I became a songwriter, I thought what better thing to do then do what no one else is doing. Tell fantasy tales. Smartest thing I ever did. Looking at the track listing now, as all the lyrics were written by Ronnie James Dio, music is stated. We start with Stand Up and Shout, Dio with Jimmy Bain, as credited as writing a song, clocks in at 318. Holy Diver, written by Dio himself, clocks in at 553. Gypsy, written by Dio and Vivian Campbell, 340. Caught in the Middle, written by Dio, Vinnie Abbasi, and Vivian Campbell, clocks in at 417. Don't Talk to Strangers, written by Dio, clocks in at 454. Straight Through the Heart, written by Dio and Bain, clocks in at 435. Invisible, written by Dio and Campbell, clocks in at 526. The Anthemic Rainbow in the Dark, Written by Ronnie, Vinny, Jimmy, and Vivian. Clocks in at 414. And Ronnie, Vinny, Jimmy, and Vivian also wrote Shame on the Night, the album closer. Clocking in at 529. Holy Diver was released on May 25th, 1983. The record was hailed by critics as Dio's best work and a classic staple in the heavy metal genre. It was certified gold in the U.S. in the September of 84, 
then going platinum in March of 89, before ultimately going double platinum. In the UK, Holy Diver achieved silver status, which is 60,000 copies sold, by the British pornographic industry. Having accomplished that goal in January of 86, at the same time as the next deal record, The Last in Line. Now, on IGN's list of top 25 metal albums, Holy Diver is at number 8. And this statement is follows: In all his bands, in all his roles, in all his musical vagabond choices, Ronnie James Dio has been fortunate enough to be associated with some of the heavy metal's best. Sabbath, Rainbow, and his own band. Best to represent his tenure in the genre, one must took no farther than Holy Diver. His first album with his new band also was his best. It is one of metal's best albums, and it spawned two of the greatest metal songs of the 80s, Holy Diver and Rainbow in the Dark, featuring the underrated Vivian Campbell on guitar. This album showed that Dio can do it on his own. In 2017, it was ranked 16th on Rolling Stone's list of 100 greatest heavy metal albums of all time. My overall rating for this record is an 85 out of 100. Out of all the nine tracks on this album, four of them I actually liked. The title track, Stand Up and Shout, Don't Talk to Strangers, and of course, the anthemic Rainbow in the Dark. So that concludes this week's Joe Lom's album review.